so stuttering I find ludicrously challenging. Um, I thought before I had ever um, actually tried running, I just assumed when I saw people stutter stepping that what they were doing was like pressing the button just like as fast as humanly possible and mashing. I'm like, oh, I can mash a button like nobody's business. I think I'll be really good at this. And then it turns out, oh, no, no, no. It's like a timing thing. And that's, uh, yeah, that's something that's going to take some practice. 15 shots of fireball. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> yeah, I find fireball quite sweet, but uh, 15 shot. That's 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 a lot of fireball. Yeah, you're probably going to need to take a little nap. Drink water. Drink a lot of water after drinking that much. Mashing isn't about... Yeah, yeah, stuttering. Yeah, not about speed. It's a rhythm. Yeah, exactly. I've been told that a couple times now. I just don't know what the fucking rhythm is. I need like... I wish I knew what exactly the timing was. Like, if I could set up a metronome at the precise sort of BPM or whatever of how I needed to tap, I think that would help me massively. Because it's just guesswork. It's literally just trial and error, and um, I'm not that great at that. Yeah, practice a giant step. That's what I've been doing. I've been... Uh, you did good. Good. Drink, drink all of the water. You should have a, a glass of water for every... Uh, I guess like what two ounce drink or whatever for every for every drink that you have so you should have a few liters of water <laughs> being like a racer that'll happen tons of water and a diuretic trial and error becomes muscle memory yeah exactly exactly so but I'm not nearly there yet so I, I it's, it's yeah the trial and error part is very challenging it's uh, a little bit frustrating um, I've had a couple times where I've felt like I was doing all right. Um, I'll like move at the same speed as the enemy so I can like just kind of get behind something and, and they don't chase me down, but only uh, only a few times. And again, that was a month ago, so I got to get back into the, the rhythm. Um, but yeah, the notes I've made, I think, help a lot. Like I, I've, you know, like this little patch of grass is where you turn up to get it through here and um just kind of all of it is detailed in in the notes that i've made so in terms of like the precision movement hey sonnet thank you so much for uh the gift sub to peter matthews wow i super appreciate that happy birthday uh the birthday gift sub that's awesome uh yeah well, welcome to the channel Good night, my peeps. Oh, no. Will you learn the whole route? Um, that's the part that I'm torn on. The thing is, I stream for about four hours, so, like, if I rip an hour into a run, then that's it, right? The other thing is, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm just not interested in learning the manipulation for this game. It's insane. It's the most ludicrous RNG manipulation I've seen for any game. Just in terms of... I mean, it's like 40 minutes of entering a Mortal Kombat fatality. It's just way too much for me. It's my birthday, too. I always pick the birthday tag when I stream. You're crazy. Um, yeah, so I... Uh, what was I just saying? Yeah, the, the whole route. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm not super interested in learning the manipulation. So I could do the, like, manipulous, um, glitchless run, but, uh, yeah, it's just, just the time, uh, investment. It's so long. When I got my PB, there was only Onet Manip. That makes sense. Well, you still got sub four. That's really impressive. That's awesome. A very merry unbirthday to you. Nobody ever comes to say happy birthday though. Aw. There we go. Talk to him dead center. I'm gonna have to watch the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. <laughs> Sounds good. Have fun with that. Nothing like getting ludicrously drunk and uh No. Cool. Well that's crazy. Um, I haven't seen that happen before. The test to see if people actually read tags. It's like, I joined no backseating tag streams, and... The first thing people come in and say is something that's considered backseating. Yeah. 
I found Manip to be a pain. Uh, yeah, I mean, I find just watching Manip to be a pain. There's so many runs that don't even make it out of uh, Manip, and now it's 40 minutes long, so... This is, this is bad. This run is already really, really bad. I hit my goal, did a partial Manip in mine. Nice, I see you didn't even necessarily uh, keep Manip for the whole run. Oh my god, an extra NPC in battle. I'm just hemorrhaging time. What is reject the Kool-Aid? Uh, you're invited to a cult, and um, I say no. Shit. Sorry, I'm gonna... Focus a little here. Oh, the dog! I forgot I have the dog with me. Ugh. When I did it, it was 19 minutes. Wow. Yeah, half the time. That's crazy. Yeah, it's right into the graveyard now. Although the graveyard's still really inconsistent for most. It's a reference to Jonestown. Yeah, yeah, the actual reference itself is, uh, is a little dark, but... The four was the goal and I got it. Then moved into Link to the Past. Nice. A Link to the Past is one of those games that I would like to get into. Um, but like, I just, I didn't play it really back in the day. Like I did, but I, I never beat it as a, as a kid. So. Um, damn. Uh, that sounds like an Illarox. How's it going, yo? Um, I love that people get their own theme tunes. I just... makes me so happy. Oh, nice. You get to watch him run away, too. Whew, that's... That's a lot of time lost to that mistake. Okay. Yeah, Link to the Past I would have liked to play. It's also apparently got an awesome speed run. Or, speed run. I read your message. It's a fun speed run while I was saying... Uh, fun randomizer. Um, I'd like to check that out, but, like, I just don't know the game well enough. Whereas Earthbound's a game I really know. Uh, Mario RPG is also another one I know, but again, uh, just the amount of actual skill involved in the Mario RPG speedrun, because there's no RNG. So, it's like a five-hour run that's just skill, and, like, you gotta do, like, a hundred super jumps, and, uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's just crazy. I don't, I don't have the, uh, the pixel-perfect abilities that are required for that. Did Mark stream today? Uh, I don't think so. I hope not, because I didn't. I didn't catch a. I didn't catch it if it did happen. And then, as soon as his heart's beating out of his chest, I can stop mashing. Then get the bread roll this time. Your super jumps isn't as hard as it sounds. Well, it's... I mean... It's not one pixel, but it is fairly pixel perfect. A hundred times over. It's kind of crazy. Or maybe it is one pixel, I don't even remember. I think the, the number of pixels... The, the pixel window decreases uh, at certain milestones. Um, like at 10 and at 30 and stuff like that, I think, if I recall correctly. Don't miss the end of that weird game he bought on Steam. <sighs> it's like 15 frames after the 13th jump. Yeah, it's still, I don't know. It's something that I I, I used to have a lot of problem with. I, uh, I don't know, I don't think I'd be very good at it. One thing that I have been kind of thinking about doing, I don't know if anyone would necessarily be interested in it, but I've been thinking about doing a, uh, a Let's Play of... Mario RPG, where I go through and just get all of the, you know, side quests, hidden boxes, um, uh, just sort of reveal all the, all the secrets in the game. And, uh, I don't know, just talk about it, you know? How to level, because I, I know everything in the game. Um, I was thinking, I don't know, but I just, I don't think there's much of a, <laughs> of a, a market for, you know, a let's play of a, an almost 25-year-old game. 
coolest boss fight on SNES. What, the uh, Starman Jr.? If you can get to 14, you can get to 100. Uh, yeah, it's the consistency too. And the, the choking under pressure. I mean, there's so many elements, you know? RPG is sick, but I can't find an emulator. You can't find an emulator of a Super Nintendo game? Or you mean a ROM? Like the like the game for emulator or an emulator itself? Oh man, I'm really I'm really pinched in between the, the parents here. Oops, fuck. <laughs> Are you usually streaming this early? Uh usually it's pretty close to this, Illerox. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, usually I'm streaming Oh well daylight savings happened. So um yeah, I guess normally this would be like 7.30. So yes and no, I guess. It's a rhythm, like stuttering. Yeah, well, I'll have to learn how to do both. Oh, that was close. I almost mashed into uh, hearing his story again. Yeah, usually I start at um, 8 o'clock. I try and start as early as 7 when I can, if and when I can. Um, and now Daylight Savings has moved forward, so yeah. So up until, like, this last Sunday, it would have been, like, 6 o'clock, essentially, that I was trying to start at. Have you got daylight savings over there? Ooh. I know there's some places that don't. We were just in Arizona, and they don't have it. Nice dodge, thank you. Yeah, I really just got to get a hang of everything in this game. The menuing, the pathing, the um, distance at which you can talk to NPCs and stuff. You know, we have summertime and wintertime. Oh, ours is um, spring and autumn where it changes. That's why the baby was able to make a guest appearance. Yeah, the time change messed with everything. <laughs> she was in a bad mood already, so no baby on stream. Yeah, yeah, she was in a too rough a mood. Yeah, top gifter. Nicely done. Changes in two and a half weeks. Oh, okay. So it's it's at a different time than us. That's really funky. Uh, so if I get below 20 HP, I want to life up. summer in two and a half weeks? Well, that's that's so funky. Okay, and I want to life up after that battle. Maybe I'll just use a bread roll, actually. We don't really have spring and autumn, they're like one week long, that's so crazy. Almost killed me. God damn. Wow, three times he said something. Four times he said something nasty. Wow, that's some crazy RNG. Okay, turn one if I'm below 20. Okay, so bash on turn one, bash on turn two, and then if I'm below 25 HP.
So bash on turn one, bash on turn two, bash on turn three, and bash on turn four. Oops, I should have life up there. Damn it. All right. Don't you remind me it's going to be over like 80 degrees soon? I don't really know what that is in Celsius. Oops. One thing to note. You want to use life up first over burgers here? Yeah, yeah, totally. I uh, I forgot that I had a bunch of um, uh, PP for some reason. My notes specifically say life up, <laughs> so I'm just I'm just bad. You gonna buy less burgers before giant step? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna have to buy like a full thing of eight of them, I believe. Over 30. Oof. I thought you used Fahrenheit? No, 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 I'm in Canada. Uh, the US is basically the only place that uses Fahrenheit. I'm gonna withdraw... 140 bucks? This week is return to Yarnum. I don't know what that is. Why don't you work in a day or two to revisit Bloodborne? Oh, is that like a DLC or something? Whoops. I need to go withdraw money first. Oh my god. This is the least optimized run I've ever done, literally. Oh my god, what am I doing? Wow. I'm trying to think of anywhere else uses that one. What, Fahrenheit? Yeah, there's like one really small country somewhere that does, I'm pretty sure. to celebrate the release uh, date of the game. I see. We'll go back and play it. Huh. Uh, I tried... I tried to use it before I hit the door. One for all the Dark Souls as well. Huh. Yeah, I didn't know anything about any of that. Sore. All right. So, uh, so yeah, life up until we get rocking. Or life up. I mean, fight slugs like it rocking. Keep reading a word and then saying it out loud when I mean to say other stuff. Whoa! I got a bomb. Wee! That's super legit. Hey. I managed the incredibly small amount of stutter stepping required there. So this is pretty much the perfect setup where you can get a mouse stuck on the other side of that wall and then walk back and forth across this small rock where there's a spawn plate. DS2 is at the end of February. Uh, I think Dark Souls 1 is sometime during the summer and Dark Souls 3 in November maybe, but don't quote. Say in the community, enjoy your death to hand. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, out of curiosity, I remember Hannibal was mentioning there's like a trick to knowing if your offense is high enough by the time you get to level 8. 
I guess you just have to be paying attention to your levels, which I have not been doing. I check it at level 7. Yeah, I guess that's a thing to do. Or I just learned the hard way. Uh, you need 24 offense. And... Okay. 24 offense. Offense 20. Okay, so I need to gain 4 offense with my next level. Okay, 4 offense with my next level. Oh! Damn, did I despawn one? No, okay. I thought Return to Yarnum was in Halloween. I make a note of EXP too. Oh yeah, that's probably smart. It's just a number of slugs you have to fight generally. Oh, but my experience is all fucked up. I appreciate you typing it too, actually. That, that you know, really helps me out. So, two more fights. The question is, do I keep going... Uh along at this point and and look for a fight with six of them or do i just fight a four pack and then after this fight maybe just continue and do one more fight on the way if you're close you can take a mouse what's the mouse because i just gained 108 experience meaning that i'm 149 away and this one will be another 108 so i'll be like 37 away 34, so it'll be just shy. Oh no. There we go, okay, so I'm gonna fight these ones. All right, and this will be my level. Uh, so I'm looking for four offense. Oh, I saw O Baby with offense. I didn't catch the number, but that's probably enough. If it's an O Baby, right? Uh oh. You got it? Nice. Alright, well this is going... this split is going fairly well. He said jinxingly. Hmm. I don't think I can risk it in case both of those are ants. Oh, with three enemies? Only one would have been an ant, right? Fuck, I just don't know. I don't know enough about this area. I don't know the intricacies of these fucking spawns. Whatever, I'm gonna fight this and see what happens. The bottom ones will never get to- Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that they were effectively trapped. Oh shit, I'm already full. I grabbed that on the way back, not on the way along. Damn. Oh my god. I thought for a second I was gonna get another bomb. I was like, fucking poggers. Alright, so we want to rock in, and then if we're below 65 HP, we want to heal.
shit, we only get one rock in this fight. Uh, okay, well we do have a bomb though, right? Whoops. Did I use it correctly? Yeah, okay. Anytime I'm below 65 HP, I should heal. I guess because you can use two heavy duty attacks back to back. I have no idea what his HP is at. Okay, well, there we go. Wow. That was a really good split. Alright, so here's where I don't know the run as well. I'll let you decide why. <laughs> uh, so I can grab the hamburger on the way back. Um, I probably can skip buying hamburgers before the cops. Maybe? No! Oh, I get healed automatically. Well, that's seven seconds gone. Okay, if I grab the burger on the way back, I think I think I can skip buying them. I can't believe I walked into the butterfly. That was f so dumb. So I should have, I think, one empty inventory slot, meaning seven burgers. So that's pretty good. What I wouldn't give for an exit mouse. Alright, so we just get out of this cave. We say no to the cop. Of course we can't read. Um... And then just straight to the cop station, I think, right? You have plenty of burgers. I do have a lot of burgers. Um, I'm trying to remember what the optimal path is here. I believe... Yeah. Basically it. Okay, so if we're below 55, we burger. If we're below 40, we life up. Okay. Path was fine. Yeah, I think it was pretty close to optimal. Um, I usually, I only know it from the burger place. So below 55, we burger. Uh, yeah, I guess that's basically... Ah, I was hoping he'd attack first. Make it more worth. Alright, so we're going to start this next fight with a burger. a life up. We're going to life up at the start of next fight. So... Hey, 50 FTW, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. I really appreciate that. Below 55, we use a burger.
Sweet, okay. So now we want to rock in a couple times against Captain Strong. Hey, we even got a hamburger. Sweet. Nice manip, if only. Below 55, we life up or burger. Okay. All right, I keep forgetting where Rockin is. Oh, nice. He's just on guard. Sweet. This fight is free. Wow. On guard a second time. Wow. Okay. Well, we're... We're doing okay here. That was a really heavy hit in Rockin there, too. Okay, so now we're going to head to Tucson. Uh, and then go to the department store. Good cops? Yeah, that was a really good one. So we're gonna head to Tucson, grab a burger on the way, then get to the mall. Okay, now we're off to the mall. No mushrooms, sweet. Unless one jumps out from one of these bushes here, which has happened. I'm trying to remember where exactly I go here. Ah, here it is. The trees all look pretty similar. Okay, withdraw basically all of my cash and use the phone. Uh, and then Apple Kid, Eraser. Close to sub 30. Uh, sweet. Uh, Apple Kid. Okay, so Apple Kid is down this way. Do, 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 do. Whoops. Sub 30 through cops is good pace. Nice. I do dislike mushrooms, it's true. Okay, eraser. You're on good pace, nice. Well, that is always reassuring. Okay, uh, and if we can get a butterfly, we want to do that. We're going to go here for safety. Wow, all right, no enemies whatsoever. And then we just have to juke some bushes here. Wow, hey, Rachel Ree. How you doing? Good luck on the 70s dance. Oh, the boogie. <laughs> Thank you. How are you doing this evening? Okay, and we can avoid the spawn plates. I'm trying to remember how, though. I think we basically want to hug this left wall. Oop. Okay, never mind. We fucked up. Ah, oh, how could you let me do this, chat? <laughs> yes. Oh, that f movement was perfect. Getting stuck on the right half of the uh, of the tree. Okay, now we just gotta juke the bushes again. Holy crap! All these free tunnels. This is crazy. They're the I feel like the spawn rate in these is really high. I'm always running into plants in these fucking tunnels. Wow. Fantastic. Well, that's good to hear. That was close. I almost just blundered right into those because I was not paying enough attention. 
Oh, I want that butterfly, but... Nope, that's not happening. Uh, I can't fuck around too long. There's there's basically guaranteed butterflies on the way, so we don't we don't need that. Take the safe path between the buildings to get to the park. I don't think there's ever any spawns in the park. I don't know which direction to go to mitigate the uh, NPC lag. Been a fun night learning how to create Windows forms through PowerShell. Interesting stuffs. Yeah, you could you could choose to use that word. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, creating anything is pretty legit. Oh damn, damn! Oh, I don't know these things fucking aggro radius well enough. That was sketchy. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, sure. Let's life up and grab this, and then we we can still grab one more butterfly on the way to top up completely. That's not good. Bum bum ba ba bum bum. Fuck I. God, I love the music in this game. I just can't even describe how much I love this music. Okay. Uh, here's the really hard part. I don't know the movement as well as I should through this area. Oh, hence those spawns. And it's hard to look over at my notes, because they're so far away from me. Okay, right, so I cross this bridge, and then, once I go up here, I go above this tree to take a look for spawns. No spawns. Coast is clear. We go down here. We want to go to up, just below this rock. And then we want to go up here, all the way to this tree, and along and down. And then we've avoided two spawn plates. Oh, and there's our second fucking butterfly. Perfect. Where are my beans? Uh, oh, I'm trying to get the reference. Okay, and up here we avoid the spawn plates by hugging this left side. Ooh, that was close. I didn't even notice that bush. Ooh, that could have been disastrous. That fucker hits so hard when he dies. Although I guess I would just run away. Oh, a snake that's running at me. That's rare. You can outrun a tree. Yeah, if you notice it. If you notice it, you can. Okay, we're getting a bat, a hat. A bat and a hat? I think that's it. Yeah. Uh. That pained me. Just in case that fucks me up somehow. Bracelet. Oh my god! You can't run from those guys either. <sighs> no reference skeleton took my beans and hid them from me because of my bean addiction? Well, you... it's probably for your own good. Still very good, uh, P 
PRV. That was great reflexes, thank you. Hey, Lord Humanity, how you doing? Did you, did you change your name? Uh, then we want to rock in and then rock in again if both of them survive. Oh right, peaceful rest valley. Yeah, derp. I I don't know why. That's the one uh, uh, initialism that always fucks me up. I never get it for some reason. Okay, we need a second rockin'. Shit, should I have life up there? Uh, I don't know if I should have. Yeah. Yeah, well that's all good. I'm still gonna fight at least one dude. So he'll knock my HP down a bit, hopefully. That's annoying. Oh my god. Oh my god, come on. Still Lord Humanity? Oh, it's just my display name? Yeah, the extra um, digits weren't there before. Uh, I've not seen those before, at least. I keep... Some poor movement coming through there. So I want to lose some hit points here. That's the thing. Oh, that's actually pretty perfect. Whoops. Did a couple Japanese streams occasionally. Twitch gave me an option for Japanese display name. Thought it was only for the Japanese streams itself. Apparently it's Twitch wide. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so turn one, we're gonna bash. Then we're gonna rock in, rock in, and do another rock in if we can. Oh, well, never mind. We don't have enough PP. Come on, hit me. Nope. Wow. Well, that worked out really, really luckily. Okay, we're going to use the key to the cabin, and then we're going to drop all of our stuff. Was a really nice carpenter. Yeah, that worked out really well, actually. Okay. So I think nothing spawns in these tunnels anymore, right? Do I want that for- no, because I'm going to die soon. Ooh, that was a little bit close. Okay.
Yep. I did save a department store. Not enough PP, very relatable. Okay, now we want to take a backstab from the mole. That's weird that it wasn't red. Whoops, I'm supposed to attack with her. Okay, so we death warp. Uh, okay, revive Paula, get the backstage pass. Talk to her dad. Ah, oh, come on. Golden spin. <gasps> oh no, I didn't check my money. I forgot to just like flash my money there just to see if I had enough. I, ah, oh, man, that sucks. That's a huge chunk of time lost. Man. I can't believe I forgot that. But to be fair, I've, I've gotten so few runs to this point that, uh, in fact, I think two, two in total. All right, so. Oh yeah, it's this way. Okay, go see her fam. Don't sweat that well. A pretty notable fuck up. What I do in boogie runs is make sure I leave the shop and happy happy with 200 bucks. Yeah, it's just you're you end up closer to that ATM when you respawn than anything, so I just figure that's the one to interact with, but oh, after the death warp I have 100, yeah, yeah, no, I definitely get what you're saying then dude's gonna tell me to go see Everdread, right? yeah Oh, uh, do I want the butterfly? I can't remember if I get full healed automatically at some point, or... Yeah, I don't know. I'll just grab it. Whatever. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm fucking losing time here and there, everywhere. Uh, right, get the water bills, use the backstage pass. After graveyard, you got heal. Okay, that's what I thought. Boo. <clears throat> Whatever, now I can rock in anything that I run into. If I accidentally take an encounter that I shouldn't have. <coughs> Pardon me. Ooh, Jesus. Way to get all up in my business. 
Today was my last day in college. Finished my finals, now all that's left is graduation, dude. D dude, that's fucking awesome. Congrats. More safety for graveyard? Yeah. It's a mix of all of them. Italy to be done finals. Yeah, that's that's really cool. Yeah, I definitely don't want to fight there. That's a that's a bad thing if I end up fighting there. And now it's time for a nice little performance. Whew, well, that was fucking unrelenting. All right. Uh, where are we at with that poll? What am I drinking this evening? Uh, did you end up opening wine, babe? Okay, then what's the winner? Uh, one, seven, and nine. Uh, or zero. Zero, seven, and nine. Uh, whiskey, hot sake, and port are all tied with only one vote each. Oh, and now cider is also tied with those. Or, uh, oh, tequila is number three. That's right, because we don't have cider right now. And now one vote for absinthe. Okay, so we have one vote for zero, three, four, seven, and nine. So, uh, I guess relinquished either already voted for port or used his two votes already. So we just need uh, anyone to- by the way, everyone is, gets two votes in total, so you can tie break if you like. Uh, okay, we're gonna go and use the wad of bills. And catch a lift. Right, okay. Uh, if you vote for the same thing twice, it just doesn't- it doesn't compute, it doesn't do anything. Good try, though. Game in the system. I can appreciate that. It's a true gamer. But yeah, whoever coded chatbot, they knew. They knew what people would want to do. <laughs> All right, so now we have we have a six-way tie. Here we go, two votes for waifu's choice. What would you like, babe? Well, she's already gone mad with power. Oh my god, stop. There we go. There we go, okay. And then we're gonna back into the curb. All right, all right, so what's next? What is next? So now we go to the graveyard. Right. I gotta remember the exact movement I want to do. There's the patch of grass. Back to the hotel. Okay. To the right of the big grave. Below the other big grave. Okay. Alright. They take this corner hard. Yeah, that corner in particular. Just... More than a 45 degree. That's like a... I don't know, what is that? Or less than a 45, I should say. That's like a... I don't know. 25 degree angle. I take it you're the wife modern sonnet? Uh, yeah, you got it. That, that's, uh, that's modern sonnet. Oh. Oh, looks like my frames dropped to zero for a second there. That's not good. Some weird stuttering there. Hopefully, uh, I don't know, did anybody notice? Did the stream like full-blown drop or did it just sort of lag a little bit? I'd hate to invalidate a run. That would be fucking terrible. Although on the plus side, I mean, with the time ticking, I guess it's a known amount of time that it takes to traverse. <gasps> oh, that's an enemy, not an NPC. Oh, Christ, that was close. You saw nothing? Okay, good. That's a good sign. Whew. Okay, so we're gonna go up here. And then up here. I love that so much. He stares into your soul. He looks you over. Wow, that was a free graveyard. Oh, there's some flies. Oh, it's this way. Yep, 
it's so weird that the kids follow this, like, <laughs> strange woman into the hotel. I'm trying to remember when I end the split generally. I guess I'll just do it there after the text is done. I don't know if it's when you when the text box first opens or when the text box closes. Those are the only two points that it makes any logical sense to me to do it. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to go downstairs to the leftmost door. We're going to talk to the dude. Uh, then we're going to go and use the key, drop the spray can, uh, talk to him again, open up the uh, bottom left and the top right lockers. Thank you, sweetie. Grab the things and equip them. Okay. It's dangerous to go alone. Take me. I should have done this first. Oh, okay, yeah, it doesn't matter the order. Either way, it closes out of your inventory. Okay, then we get the bad key to machine and we use it on the bottom left and the top right locker. Okay. That was pretty fast inventorying. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm still getting the hang of interacting with my inventory. Okay, and then we go get our bubble monkey. Talk to him from the bottom. supposed to get a green okay i still got the green that's wild i don't know how you fucking how that works above fuck i'm forgetting the path that's not good i made it do 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 nice bread roll yeah very much so i'm i'm happy with that okay we go along here Very much some added safety. Okay. 
All right. And level two. Oh yeah, yeah, good point. Well, if anybody's got any uh, Tessie hype. Uh, now is the time. Oh, I don't have, uh, MS Paint Beast. <laughs> I like it. So, I should I've got a boiled egg at this point, I think, right? Okay, so we're gonna go down left, and we're gonna... Okay. Yeah, egg and bread roll. That's badass. So we're gonna move down left until we're flush with the cliff, and then go down. Oh my god. I can't believe how badly my neck hurts. It's really crazy. Oof. That should avoid the spawn plate there. Uh, yeah, drink is uh, so far so good with the first sip. I have no idea. Is there a way to juke this first gift? I honestly don't know. Very, very much luck. Okay. Come on, get down here. Oh, oh, oh! That might be enough. Yes, get fucked. Oh, you little monkey fuck. Let's skip both presents and the duck. Yeah, I just don't know how to skip the first one. Um, all of everything I know about this run basically is from Arithium's like video guide. And he just didn't. At one point, he was like, "Yeah, you can try the the to skip this first guy, but you probably won't." And so he doesn't like show how or describe how. He just kind of mentions that it's possible. So I was like, "Um, that that doesn't really help me." Come on. Do I get this first gift? I can't recall. I don't think so. Shit. Oh my god! I can't believe it. That was so close. So close to getting past there. Can I juke these slugs? Can I run from these? Do I- do I fight? Do I run? I- I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do here. I guess I'll just fight them. Ah! Uh, I just wish I knew what I'm supposed to do in each of these fucking situations. There's like... There's an objectively correct thing to do, and I don't know it. Hey, Kang it. Well done, win of the battle royale. You fight that? Okay, so you can't run from those? Right, I can't just blunder into a room. I think I can get past that. 
Yay. They're one hit. Yeah, but like running would be faster if it was guaranteed, which is why I was like, I they're called slugs, so I just kind of expected that they'd be really easy. I guess not. Easy to flee from, I mean to say. Okay, and then we say no to our dad's questions. Oh, my controller unplugged there. If I don't hold it at exactly the right angle, that just, that happens. I'd have to look at the speed. No thing with running. Yeah, if your speed is greater, then you have a better chance, and then your your odds uh, increase every round. Something like that. It's like the protoplasm you can't really even think about dodging until turn, like, four or five or something like that. We use the bad key machine, grab the teddy bear for safety. Oh, you gain 10% every round, okay. Out of the year. If I'm not mistaken, the first item in Jeff's inventory is a big bottle rocket, so I just go goods and mash. Yeah, defend, defend, big bottle, yeah. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna be a PB. I mean, unless, uh, unless Jeff gets frozen or something. I think that's basically the only thing that really fucks me. But what are the odds of that, right? <laughs> it's like a one in... I don't know. I mean, how many attacks does he have? What are the percentages he uses each of them? I don't even know. Yeah, that's why you defend, defend, big bottle. But if he gets... There's one ability that the tent uses that, like, petrifies him or freezes him in his tracks or whatever and, and makes it so he doesn't get his turn. Um, I think that's the only thing that does it. And that's got to be on Jeff specifically and not any of the other two. Well, three, because I'm going to grab a teddy as well. I don't know if the teddy bear is worth it, but... Better safe than sorry. 116, okay. That makes sense. He's basically got, like, four different attacks that he has an equal chance of using, and then he's got four different targets for that particular attack. I imagine that's how that math gets there. Oh, man. Well, I'm pretty stoked. This is my third, uh... My third time out. I mean, my third session doing any speed running ever. So I'm really happy with this. But my notes are comprehensive. Um, that's about it. I've got good notes. <laughs> Who needs skill or talent when you've got notes? Practice, practice. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully. Crack 110 soon. I hope so. That'd be awesome. I honestly have no idea... Uh... 
what uh like time I'm looking at. Like I don't know how long it takes to do each of these things really. I've also bonked into a million things. Like that. <laughs> okay, defend, defend, BBR. Oh, I almost ended the, uh, right, it's when I get the fly honey. Do 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 GG, yeah, thank you. Thank you. There's still time for me to fuck this up somehow. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, though. Now it's just my ability to mash. It sucks because my, uh, my shoulder and neck are in so much pain these last few days, like it's really bad. And, uh... The best way to mash is to just sort of like make all of your muscles really rigid. And just like... F the only thing that moves is like, your fingers. Um, but making shit, you know... Uh, tensing the muscles in my neck really hurts. Boom, that's it. Fuck you, pumpkin head.